take one peek and boom! <laughs> my dentist, I went and did my annual checkup. She says, Sonia, things are looking pretty good. She said, but when's the last time you flossed? I go, funny that you asked me that. It was last night at the club! <laughs> Sia's music, I just want to swing from the chandelier. Let me just tell you. <laughs> love it, love it. With that big bow in her hair, you guys. That hairstyle is like a Neapolitan ice cream, isn't it? It's like chocolate on one side, vanilla on the other. She turns around the back, it's strawberry. <laughs> so gotta love my girl. I love to dance. That's something I really wanted to do before I ever got into stand-up. I wanted to be a dancer, you know? Kind of exotic would have been nice, but look at me. <laughs> I'm about the funny and not the honey. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to see me in Oh Natural. That right there would be the Peekaboo Show. Take one peek and boom! <laughs> I love Sia. I love to dance, but I'm not 21 anymore. So I go to the dance clubs and I feel kind of out of place. You know, I mean, you walk in, all the guys have that beard that looks like a bunch of ants marching off to a picnic. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and the girls have that dress, you know, that skin-tight dress where they look like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. You know, it's just like, whoa! Oh my gosh, and then you have me. <laughs> I'm not wearing the right shoes and I'm up there doing the blister dance, you know? Like, oh dear Lord. <laughs> Oh gosh! Nowadays they they they, they kind of like remix all kinds of music, don't they? I mean, you've got like uh, I like the country techno, you know, the one that's like I don't want to leave without you. <laughs> Sweet dreams of rhythm and magic. I don't want to leave without you. <laughs> Sweet dreams, I don't live sweet dreams, I don't live sweet dreams. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can dance your booty off. I get all hot and sweaty. One night I went and I said, give me something to drink. I'm ready to get back out on the dance floor. And somebody gave me one of those, uh, what is it, Red Bull things? Oh man, I drank that and I was like Dolly Parton, like stumble out of bed and I run to the kitchen, pour myself a cup of ambition. I'm like. <laughs> oh. That stuff, will, it, it, it gives you wings because you're gonna need a helicopter to take you to the hospital for that heart attack. Man, I love Dolly Parton. I don't know about you guys. I'm a Dolly fan. Oh, yeah. You are, too. Love Dolly. She recently had that movie, uh, du what was it, uh, uh, Dumplin'? Did you guys see that? Yeah. yeah, that was a good movie. I love Dolly because she's like 73 years old, and she looks like she's 50. That movie right there gave me hope because I was thinking, wow, a size 14 could be a 7. <laughs> love it. Dolly's a great country singer. Country music's evolved. Oh my goodness, you go out. I told you, you can hear all kinds of country music. I grew up on, mm, hello y'all, I'm Johnny Cash. And he stopped loving her today. And somehow or another, all the country singers that my father introduced me to that were female singers, they all had their little overbite. Sort of like they had a day job somewhere sharpening pencils. You know, just <laughs> picking up a pencil like, there you go, thank you. Short, that little whistle, just his favorite now is Reba McIntyre, you know, and Reba doesn't have that overbite, you know. Reba's got lips like a little baby duck. You ever know what I'm saying? <laughs> you seen her? Seen her on the CMAs? You know, you just want to sprinkle breadcrumbs. Say, come on, fancy, it's your last chance, girl. <laughs> You be nice to the strangers, they'll be nice to you. <laughs> I love me some Reba. Man, she's been a major influence to so many out there. Like, you know, I don't know, uh, Taylor Swift, Miranda Lambert, uh, Carrie Underwood. Who do you think was her influence? I'm thinking maybe like Loretta Lynn, someone a little older than her. I'm proud to be a coal miner's daughter, Lynn Anderson. I beg your pardon. Never promised you a rose garden. Maybe Patsy Cline, what do you think? 
Patsy, yeah. If Patsy were alive today, she'd be doing those Verizon commercials, surely, wouldn't she? <laughs> oh, she'd be like, I go out talking after midnight, out in the moonlight, just to trying to speak to you. I go out talking after midnight, cause weekends and nights are free. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> I've had a great time walking around, checking things out, going to some great restaurants and stuff, doing a little shopping. Oh, gosh. Last week, uh, I was down south, and I went into this uh, antique shop. It wasn't as fun as you guys. And I gave my card to this guy who I thought could sell me this beautiful table, right? And it turns out he was not the owner. He was there to auction off the furniture. So what happens? He gives me a call and asks me out on a date. You know how weird it is to have a guy call you up and go, hey. Hey, son, you want to know you want to go to Red Lobster, Red Lobster, Red Lobster. If you don't have lobster, lobster, have shrimp. You don't have shrimp, you don't have shrimp, you crab legs. You want to go at 8, go at 8, 15, 8, 30, go at 9. Go at 9, 15, 9, 30, 9, 35, 9, 40. You want to go at 10, go at 10, 15, 10, 30, 10, 35. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoo, he was moving way too fast. I'm telling you. Boy, these, I'm telling you, these shows that they put on television nowadays give a girl some false hope. Let me just say here and now, I'm not kidding you. Did you guys, you've seen what, The Bachelor? The Bachelorette? Anybody see me on that reality show? Who wants to marry a son of a beep? <laughs> I got a beep myself, because I was off the very first episode. It's crazy. It's not like I don't try. I think my problem is, is that I like younger men. Oh yeah, I love me a hucklebuck. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love younger men. I had this guy invite me out for Valentine's Day for a, for a surf and turf. I went, it was a hot dog and a fish stick. <laughs> I should have known better. He showed up on a skateboard. <laughs> I just didn't picture myself with my arms around his waist while he's, come on, babe, lean with me, lean with me. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. Yeah, I'm telling you what, when you wanna, you wanna meet a guy and you wanna, you wanna know a little something about sports girls, I don't know about how it is here, but I've tried to, I've learned to play a little golf and everything. I'm not real good at it. It's just one of those things. The other day I was golfing and I, I, I just whack, hit that ball out there and it hit this Canadian goose right in the tail feathers. And I was like, wait a minute, is that a birdie or a hole in one? <laughs> So, but yeah, living in Chicago was fantastic. The only downside was that everybody thought I was Paula Dean. <laughs> Blonde hair, you know, a little Southern accent. If I wanted to sound like Paula Dean, I could. I'd say, hey, y'all, tonight let's take some jokes and put some butter on them. You know? <laughs> Paula Dean is my doppelganger. You guys know what that is. That's like, I don't know why I have that. Paula Dean is my doppelganger, and everybody. Everybody's always telling you remind me of my sister, my aunt, my cousin, my best friend. I think that's fine, but really, Paula Dean? <laughs> Why can't it be Sharon Stone or Jennifer Aniston <laughs> or Queen Latifah even? <laughs> You know, Paula Dean. I get that everywhere. When I, when I used to go out to New Jersey and New York, I used to have spiky hair. People thought I was Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium. You know what I'm talking about? She gets in a room like this. Is there a Bob in here? A Bobby? A Rob? A Robbie? Roberta? Roberta, Roberta, glad that you're here. She will find you somewhere, you know. <laughs> then one time I had someone think I was Nancy Grace. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, I will put myself in a witness protection program over that. <laughs> Mistaken identity. No one likes Nancy Grace. I want people to like me, right? <laughs> Nancy Grace, is it her attitude that gets on people's nerves? I think it's tonight on Nancy Grace. We're gonna find out who put the anchovies on the pizza. <laughs> Justice will be served tonight. <laughs> Well, Nancy Grace, you know, she just annoys people. What the heck? 
Yeah, so Paula Deen's not so bad after all, is she? <laughs> She's the next best thing to the Cracker Barrel, you guys. Oh, my GPS can find a Cracker Barrel anywhere in the country. I'm riding along and say, like, at the light, turn right, at the light, turn right. My little Surrey with her British accent, you know. Sometimes it's the French lady. She's like, Mademoiselle, at the intersection, make a U-turn. Mademoiselle, at the intersection, make a U-turn. That's in case I'm going to get the French toast, right? You know? <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then I got a southern guy. You drive down the road, and he's like, Woo we're almost there. I'm like, oh. I got a redneck in my GPS. I love it. He turned down the frontage road, and he's not recalculating. He's like, rethinking, rethinking, rethinking. <laughs> so weird. Modern technology is off the hook. Are you guys on that iPhone 10, Galaxy 5000? I don't know. Are you guys like updated? I mean, I'm not judging. Otherwise, I mean, I'm still talking out of a Progresso can. Ring, ring. That's me. Yeah. Heck, my brother has the flip phone. Anybody here have that one? Remember, it always reminded me of Star Trek, you know, and those little things that they would have with Captain Kirk. Even when his phone rings, it's like, It's unbelievable. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Oh, modern technology's off the hook. I don't think that they'll ever, ever have enough, what would you say, um, research in the airline industry for my liking. I don't know about you guys. Think about it. You're on your way to the airport. They spell it out in big, bold letters. You're probably going to die, right? You know, it's like <laughs> terminal. <laughs> I think they're in cahoots with the insurance companies, right? <laughs> sorry about your loss, ma'am, but there it is in writing. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Anytime I fly, I just wear it depends. It's gotten so bad, I just, I do. I, you know, one time we sat on the runway for like four hours and I was like, oh, thank gosh. Oh, goodness gracious. I am just, I'm so happy I'm wearing it depends. <laughs> Four hours, oh, 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 oh. Then once I could get off the plane and head to the baggage claim, like <laughs> <laughs> People laughed at me. They had no idea what I'd been through, you know? I mean, really? Really? Oh, they pointed the finger. And it, was, it was probably because I had the Depends being held in by a pair of thong underwear. I admit it. <laughs> not the best choice in undergarments, I admit it. <laughs> And it's really not my fault, you know? Oh, gosh. I got one of those mothers that tries to help me out in the romance department. She ended up buying me the rawhide bra. Have you seen that one? The one that kind of heads them up, moves them out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She got my sister the bird dog bra. That's the one that makes pointers out of setters. So, you know, it's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. And the weird thing is my mom doesn't even wear a bra. I'm like, mother, how come you're not wearing a bra? She goes, I don't wear a bra because it takes the wrinkles out of my neck. <laughs> oh, no, 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 oh. Yeah? My dad's a retired fighter pilot in the Navy. I just, you know. He, uh, he used to be in, he was like 2,000 missions in Vietnam and just, he's just hilarious that, I don't know how he ever got with my mom. There'd never be any of this. <laughs> my dad was very strict, very authoritative. He was probably more like, <laughs> now hear this, now hear this. I find you a attractive, <laughs> requesting permission to drop anchor. You know, just something <laughs> like that. Oh. <laughs> what is he thinking? That is my dad, yeah. Family, this is what's so crazy, you know. My sister, she's completely tattooed. My, my brother, he's a, he's a trip, that one there. He's into construction. And then my mom, my, oh, my mother's the most, you never know what's coming out of that woman's mouth. I let her borrow my car. She took my car and went somewhere. It was five hours, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Where is she? This is beginning to worry me. And all of a sudden, I get a phone call from the police station. I go, hello? She's like, Sonia, you're not going to believe what's happened to your mama tonight. <laughs> I'm like, mother, what are you doing? Where are you? Are you okay? She says, I'm fine, I'm fine, but I got a ticket for parking in a handicapped parking space. 
Why, heck, I didn't know those people went out at night. <laughs> That's dangerous, you know. <laughs> I do not have much luck. I dated a city guy. That was weird, took him out to the country. You know how the cattails grow alongside of the pond? He saw that and I saw him on the phone talking to his mother going, you're not gonna believe it, mom. He goes, they got corn dogs growing on the side of the highway out here. <laughs> I mean, I've tried everything. I thought I was gonna get myself a Harley, cause that, I'm telling you, I saw a woman on a hot pink Harley Davidson. She had five guys huddled around her. They're like, whoa, babe, where'd you get the bike? She's like, Mary Kay. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's just unbelievable. We try to do all kinds of things, you know? Somebody said, Sonia, why don't you get yourself an older guy? I had a sugar daddy last summer. That was pretty wild. He was sweet. He was, he was a 300 pound diabetic is what he was. I just, <laughs> I could not give him the shots. I'm a comedian, not a nurse. You know, my hands were shaking like I had a Stevie Nicks reunion tour about to happen with my tambourine in here. Wait a minute, baby. You know, I was like, whoa. Oh gosh, I'm just, that's, it was too hard for me. I wish I could play an instrument. Anybody in here? I don't know if you guys are musically inclined, are you? I love that. I mean, I can, I can kind of like fake my way, you know, kind of. You know, just kind of like something that way or. Uh, well, you guys will take me camping with you. All right, all right. Yeah, either that or even, uh, I'm kind of telling a little fib. I did learn to play the recorder in the Girl Scouts. Anybody else? <laughs> Remember that one? <laughs> yeah, love to play that recorder. It's, you know, it's so much fun. I, I just, that was something I always wanted to do is learn to play an instrument. So that one, that one I had down because, you know, I was a Girl Scout. I told you that. And it was just, it's kind of like music you hear when you get a massage. Do you guys ever indulge? Do you? You go get a massage, you know, you got your, you got your face in this little donut thing. You know what I'm talking about? You got, well, there's, they put this donut, you got your face in, ooh, you're just trying to relax, you know, and just, do some deep breathing. I love that wind instrument. My therapist got relaxed because all of a sudden she had her own winded instrument. <laughs> she did not just do what I think she did. Oh my word. Oh no, now my sinuses are clearing up. Oh. What is this, aromatherapy? I am not paying extra for that. Oh. That's all I wanted to hear. All I have is a little dog. You guys dog people, cat people? Dog. Mostly dog people. Oh, man, living in Chicago, everybody had, they had small dogs like Meow! You know, chihuahuas, Meow! Maltese, Meow! Big dog, biggest dog in my building was a beagle, like whoa, 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 whoa. I know, it's weird that I could do these dog barks, I know. <laughs> But, you know, it, it's just so crazy. It had come in handy, and I'm just trying to tell you guys, you know, one night somebody tried to break in my apartment, and I'm sitting there eating a bag of popcorn. The window comes up, and I see this foot start to manage its way through. You know what I did? I, I, I should have messed with that burglar, shouldn't I? Thank you guys. Thank you.